So what you're looking at is a fellow who was one of my patients who's quadriplegic. He's a fellow who was in a very serious motorcycle accident where he, you know, kind of fell over the, the, the cycle and ended up breaking his neck, very severely injured, traumatized, and ended up as a quadriplegic, also was in a coma. So you're looking at a person who, who was in a coma, he had no consciousness. He was not only a quad, but he was a quad in a coma. He was in such serious condition that he had been in, in the hospital for already about a month, and he was still in a coma. And that's, that's a pretty serious thing to have happened. Great for lots of people in comas, by the way. That in itself doesn't mean you're not going to heal. I started praying with him. The first thing that happened was he came out of the coma, so that was, that was a wonderful thing. But he was in very poor physical condition, being a quad. He had he didn't have sensation, he didn't have movement. And the family was very concerned about him. Multiple family members uh, came to pray for him. And God gave him a wonderful healing. The first thing that healed was he started to get feeling back. Everybody's different. Sometimes God will just bring it all back in, in just one piece and your whole body can suddenly feel. And in his case, it came back kind of piecemeal. Big pieces here, big pieces there, all of a sudden became restored. And he, he was able to start moving his upper body. And you're looking at a fellow who's very athletic. This is a guy who the idea of being in a wheelchair for the rest of his life was not one of his plans. Once he started healing with, with prayer to God, everything started moving really well for him. And he was moved out of the ICU into rehab. I still remember him doing wheelchair chases. Like he was always inviting other patients in wheelchairs if they would have races and contests. The last thing that God restored on him, and, and actually when I say last thing, God was moving in very fast. This all happened during one hospitalization. He had never even been released to go home or anything. And the last thing was he wanted to get movement in his lower legs. Before he ever got discharged, the big, wonderful thing that God did was he moved a toe. <laughs> and he was so excited. I've never seen anybody so excited to move a toe. But after that, everything started moving in, in the lower parts through the Lord really well. He moved feet, toes, legs. And I mean, this was a really excited guy. And this is a picture of him the first time he's walking. Now, this is a very big deal because quads are never expected medically to walk again. Normally, in the medical field, we don't have cures for quadriplegia. I mean, we're the first ones to tell you that you're probably never going to walk again. You're never going to bend over and tie your shoe. You're not going to use the computer. And here this man is walking. Beautiful picture of him. And this is how they usually start. I was very happy to see the beautiful healing that God gave him as he's given uncountable number of quads that I prayed for.